Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Churchill Downs here on Monday to the 25th of May 2020. I'm going to look the 8th race from Churchill, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. Let's get to the 8th from Churchill, which allows optional claimer per $8,300 races for 3 year olds, which have never won through races or claim price of $100,000. We have a field of 8 horses sprinting the distance of ground of 1,200 meters or the distance of ground of 6 for lungs on the Churchill main track 1200 meters six furlongs main track and um, something that's quite bothers me the one of the longest run-ups for six furlongs in this country um, are these um, Churchill six furlong races it's almost they should just start calling these races at six and a half furlongs because the run-up is just stupidly long it's over 200 feet um, so um, yeah you know just something that pisses me off if you don't believe me go look at the run-ups on the uh, Equibase website uh, but um, or they should just call them about six furlongs it's just as hideous as Goldstream calling seven and a half furlong races on their turf course but that's for another day uh, but the uh, top selection here in the 8th from Churchill at this about 6 furlong trip I'm going to go with the 2 horse here who is Relentless Dancer will go 2-3-1-8 in the Super Facta 2-3-1-8 Super top selection 2 horse Relentless Dancer the Storial Colt by Midshipman uh, Mike Maker trains Florence Rue gets to mount Blankers on today for the first time but most recently the horse ran the 25th of April at Goldstream mile 16th in the Unbridled Stakes and the horse finished 5th by 5.5 lengths and he basically just stalked early on was wide throughout and he just couldn't keep the mile 16th that's been a, a recurring theme with him stepping down in class here today six for a long trip which i think he could definitely win at i think he's in a more realistic spot two back in the grade two tampa bay derby at tampa bay downs mile 16th march 7th the horse finished fourth by seven lengths and was with him early on hit the wall late what can you do he just couldn't keep up there and then the grade three holy bull at goldstream park mile 16th february the first the horse finished fourth by 18th three quarter lengths again tis the law just ran a terrific race one next time in the florida derby uh at and in, at indy when next to I believe at the fairgrounds or something like that, um, or the Risen, or I think it was the Risen Star, but I can't, I might be wrong, but he won next to I would finish second. This horse just couldn't stay the, stay the trip and, uh, you know, just got beat by two better horses and you're likely, uh, you, Tis the Law might go on to do some great things at the end of the year, uh, but he couldn't keep up there. And then before then, Louisiana Legacy at Delta, seven furlongs. The last time the horse sprinted, she won, uh, he won by ten and three quarter lengths. He stalked and just got the job done very, very easily. Went over this course here at Churchill in the spring, or it's gonna be in the fall, going six and a half in the main special way, where the horse won by nine and three quarter lengths, kept going on the front end. Very, very good run. Um, but uh, five to one, been training well. Let's take him back to a sprinting trip. Um, to the point of I'll probably single him in the multi race, but to recap my selection for the eighth from Churchill, let's take the two horse relentless dancer. We'll go two, three, one, eight in the superfecta, single the two in the multi race. So collect one, please follow me on Twitter at horse racing get five. Good luck, everybody.